All right, the plan was a thousand rounds through the Strike Industries quad comp with the Hellcat Pro before I went ahead and wrapped up the review. So this mag right here is going to mark a thousand rounds. Welcome to another episode of How to Tame a Hellcat. I'm Mike Splain, and this is 360 Tactical Solutions. Today I've got the Strike Industries Micro Comp set up on the Hellcat Pro and it's time to talk recoil mitigation. This is the comp that you guys asked about. This is the comp that you guys said that you specifically wanted me to take a look at for the Hellcat Pro. While I do have it mounted to the Hellcat Pro, this comp can be used on any number of 9mm as long as you have a threaded barrel. Regardless of what 9mm that you have it on, you should see the same level of performance that I'm getting here with the Hellcat Pro. Real quick, here's a disclaimer about my association with Strike Industries. The quad comp from Strike Industries. I purchased this with my own money. Strike Industries did not send this to me or ask me to review it. Now, I do have some equipment being sent to me for a future project build. Um, Strike Industries is sending that stuff to me, but you know how I am. I trash talk anything that I don't like, and in this instance, Strike Industries hasn't asked me to review the comp. They haven't asked me to sugarcoat anything. I'm not being paid. I'm just doing this because you guys asked all about this comp on this gun, and I like to give you guys what you ask for. My reviews are always as unbiased as humanly possible. I just let you guys know what I think, and from there, it's up to you to decide whether or not uh, whatever it is I'm reviewing is right for you. So this is the quad comp. Uh, it's basically square and boxy, just like I like my old school Chevys. Um, there's another one on their website. Uh, it's the circle. It's basically, it's a round one. Over the course of the last couple of months that I've been testing different comps, you know, I've looked at about a half dozen different ones, uh, some of them round. I didn't really like the round ones. Now, I didn't specifically test the one from Strike Industries. I want to just make that clear. Um, but what it boils down to with me is that the round comps, they don't match the lines on the gun, the body lines, if you will. They look unpleasing. And to me, that's enough for me to pass and move on to something else. This quad comp from Strike Industries, though, I feel like it really suits the Hellcat Pro. Not only that, but if I had a threaded barrel on my Floyd's Custom M&P, I feel like it would match the look of that gun uh, just as well as it does the Hellcat Pro. Looks aren't everything, of course. Performance really is where it counts when it comes to a compensator. The comp itself, it's very simple. You have one slot on each side of it, and then you have a screw underneath that goes ahead and tightens it down and keeps it in place. It does thread onto the barrel, so no matter what gun you try to put this on, you are going to need a threaded barrel for it. Something that I noticed as soon as I took it out of the box that I really appreciate is that Strike Industries etched the torque setting right on the side of the comp. 40 inch pounds. It's easy. It's right there. It's on the side. There's no need to look online for it. There's no need to look for, you know, a guidebook somewhere in your office or gun room or whatever. You don't have to look up the torque specifications every time that you need to remove the comp to pull the barrel out, you know, do some deep cleaning and then put everything back together again. No, it's right there on the equipment itself straight from the factory. Anyways, let's just get to business here. I started out with my mostly stock Hellcat Pro uh, with the stock spring and guide rod assembly. I put the apex barrel on there, I installed the Strike Industries quad comp, and we took it to the range. We're out here today getting a little range time with the Strike Industries micro comp, and I've got the stock spring set in the Hellcat Pro right now. Today's video is brought to you by Infinity Targets. Now, I don't know if you guys have heard of these things. They're actually pretty cool. 
See, they're made out of a recycled rubber material, and you're supposed to be able to shoot the crap out of them over and over and over again uh, before they actually break down and need replaced. There's a lot of advantages to these things. You could shoot them up close many, many, many times over. And as you can see, they will take it. We've been running nine millimeter, 45, 10 millimeter, two, two, three, put some seven, six, two through this guy. And he's still going strong. The only downside is now the inside of my car is gonna smell like spray paint because I'm gonna have to coat this back up so I can do it all over again. And remember, if you want 15% off your purchase of Infinity Targets, use 360TS as your discount code. Still going strong. First round was a little bit surprising, to be perfectly honest. First off, if you aren't used to using a comp, if you don't shoot one regularly, keep in mind, they can be concussive as hell. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you need to use a compensated gun in some sort of confined space, inside of your car, indoors, in your house, in the middle of the night, that gun is going to be loud. Indoor range? Whew, I'd avoid that shit, but that's just me. Fireballs? Yeah, you better believe it. That's another drawback to using a compensator. Not only are they loud, but they spit fire like a pissed off dragon. On the plus side, they really do reduce recoil. Yes, that first couple of rounds, they really did catch me off guard. It's been quite a while since I've actually shot a gun that was compensated, so I wasn't quite ready for that concussive blast. At the same time, I did immediately notice a difference in the way that the gun performed. There's definitely reduction in felt recoil and muzzle rise while using the Strike Industries comp. Keep in mind, I started my testing using the comp while using the stock spring and guide rod. So the comp does add just a little bit of weight to the front end and it throws off the balance just a little bit from what I'm used to. It's not so much that it's like awkward or weird, but it is an extra amount of weight that you are going to feel out at the end of your gun. At first, that little bit of extra weight may be causing you to get a little bit of muzzle dip after you take your shot. I definitely had to run several mags through the gun before I was able to work past that and it to, I don't know, start to feel a little bit more natural. You're changing not only the weight and balance, but also the recoil characteristics of the gun. You need to get some practice in with it, just like you do when you make any other changes to a gun, like, for instance, changing a trigger. I think once you get a handful of mags uh, through your gun with this comp on it, you're going to like what you see. I ran 124 grand AAC ammo through the Hellcat Pro while testing out this comp, and I didn't run into any situations where the stock spring and guide rod really needed to be swapped out. It ran flawlessly. So what else do I do? I put the DPM spring and guide rod assembly in and get back to testing. All right, we've swapped over to the DPM recoil reduction spring in the Hellcat Pro. Still got that Strike Industries comp on there. Let's run it. During my testing with the DPM system, I got the best results from the short spring and short spring retainer. Uh, so that's what I went ahead and put back into the Hellcat Pro while testing the comp system out. Combining that DPM spring system with the Strike Industries quad comp made the Hellcat Pro an entirely different gun altogether. I don't really want this video to be a comparison thing. I, I really just want to stick to focusing on the comp. But using the DPM spring system along with the Strike Industries quad comp, it makes the Hellcat Pro feel totally different. It makes it feel like a larger, like heavier, more like five inch type gun when it comes to the recoil and how it performs. And I know somebody is bound to be typing down in that comment section right now as we speak saying, well, yeah, no, duh, you just added an extra inch and a half or whatever to your gun. That might be true. And actually, I can roll in some footage of a side-by-side -side with the 5-inch metal M&P, the 4-inch M&P, and uh, the Hellcat Pro with the compensator on it, just to give you a little bit of an idea of, you know, what it looks like lengthwise. 
really the Strike Industries comp doesn't add a whole lot in terms of length to the gun. It's still just as concealable as before. Um, it just performs a lot better. Let's just break down the conclusion of this comp, okay? The, the, my thoughts, the positives, the negatives, everything. I feel like using the Strike Industries comp on the Hellcat Pro, I am getting better recoil performance than I am with my four inch M&P, but not quite as good as with my five inch M&P. In order to get that better performance, yes, I'm adding excess length to my gun. Not just excess length, but a little bit of excess weight. Why wouldn't you just buy a bigger gun, a four inch, a five inch pistol? Well, because with a four inch or five inch pistol, you're not going to have that slim one inch profile for the ultimate in concealment that you do with the Hellcat Pro. Even with this excess length from the comp, um, in my opinion, the Hellcat Pro is probably the best thing in concealment on the market right now. That slim profile really does give you the best concealment. And the extra barrel length, honestly, I don't feel like it changes its concealability in any way. Adding the Strike Industries comp really does reduce the recoil in a noticeable and meaningful way. Adding the comp and the DPM springs, it's like going from... I don't know, a, a Corvette to a supercharged Corvette. All around, it's a great combination. So what are the downsides or maybe things that you might wanna keep in mind if you're considering putting a comp on your Hellcat Pro? Well, like I said before, adding a comp to your gun is always gonna make it a lot louder and a lot more concussive. For the most part, that's not gonna matter. Nearly every time you shoot your gun, you're gonna be at the range and you're gonna have Ear Pro on. In the instance that you do need to use this weapon for some sort of self-defense situation, um, I think hearing is going to be the last thing on your mind. I, I really believe that you know, recoil mitigation and accuracy, both of those things are gonna be a lot more important than, oh my God, this thing is loud as hell. The fireball, eh, I don't think that matters so much. Sure, a fireball is gonna give away your position, but let's face it, none of us are ninjas. Accuracy and performance are always gonna be more important than flash suppression. The real elephant in the room that we need to address is holsters and just carrying in general. Some holsters probably going to work just fine as long as the end of the holster is wide open. If you have a holster that is somewhat closed off, like my Mechanitech Talon here, you may need to modify it a little bit. So I have three of these Phenom holsters from G-Code. Love these things. Um, I decided since I had three of them, I would go ahead and sacrifice one uh, by cutting the end open and modifying it to be able to use the Hellcat Pro with the comp. Sorry, G-Code, I had to do it. With the way a lot of these Kydex holsters are designed, the end of the Kydex kind of forms down over the end of the slide. The dimensions of the Strike Industries comp are very similar to what the Hellcat Pro is, just a little bit bigger on the end. But if you have a holster like this where the end kind of tapers off, it's not going to work. What I had to do with the Phenom holster is cut the end off where it kind of tapers down and then I had to bevel the inside edge a little bit um, because the comp was actually snagging just a little bit. It's really easy to do. If you have a little bit of sandpaper and a hacksaw, it takes 15 minutes. After a little bit of trial and error, I managed to get a good solid working holster for the Hellcat Pro with a comp on it. That was one problem solved, but that also led me into another problem overhang. Now I've got this excess length sticking out of the end of my holster that wants to jam down into my body. So I had to go back out to the garage, get some yoga block material, and start cutting a wedge to be able to get around that. Honestly, before I got the wedge on here, it was so uncomfortable that it was to the point where either I had to add a wedge or not carry it at all. With the wedge, it's better. It's not perfect. You know, it's not like I'm carrying a stock Hellcat Pro, you know, with a stock barrel, but it's definitely better than it was before. Of course, that's me, that's my body type. You know, we all have different hurdles for concealed carry that we need to get over, but it's something that you need to keep in mind. When you add a comp, you're going to have some unique changes that you need to address in how you carry and what holster you use. These are all little things that you really need to take into consideration and think about while addressing whether or not you want to add a comp to your gun. This product though, the Quad Comp from Strike Industries, it does the job that it's intended to do. 
It reduces recoil enough that it's noticeable. When you pair the Strike Industries Quad Comp with the DPM Spring System, it takes both of those products to a whole new level. I can't say if this product is going to be right for you. All I can say is that it works, and it works well. I'm undecided if it is going to be a permanent fixture for the Hellcat Pro. Remember, I do have my other slide off being ported, and it should be interesting to see how uh, the ported slide and barrel performs versus using a comp. If you find yourself wanting to reduce recoil, and you're okay with some of those drawbacks that I mentioned, I think that changing over to a threaded barrel and putting the Strike Industries comp on your Hellcat Pro, or any other gun for that matter, is a good idea. It can be a real advantage for you as long as you're okay with those disadvantages that come along with it. Like I said, that goes for any 9mm that you may have that has a threaded barrel, not just the Hellcat Pro. As far as the series that I've been working on goes, the recoil reduction in the Hellcat Pro, so far the clear winner is the Strike Industries Quad Comp with the DPM recoil reduction system. The last thing that I need to test for this series is going to be the port job by Floyd's Customs. And by the time you guys see this video, it will have arrived and I will be out testing it already. So before I get out of here today, Strike Industries Quad Comp, it kicks ass. It works just like they say it does. I like it. And so far, it's staying on the gun until I find something better. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe out there, and I will see you back here real soon. Okay, you probably can't tell on video, but it's right about 35 degrees outside. There's a bit of a drizzle going on, and my hands are frozen, absolutely seizing up. So we're going to do one more mag through the Hellcat Pro with the Strike Industries comp on it, and then uh, we're going to get the heck out of here, go home and warm up. <laughs>